What do you think they should do here at the border to stop this influx of migrants to come into U.S.? Just stop it. We've got the manpower. Don't let anybody across. Close every border, everything. It's not right that people stood in line for years to get to become American citizens, and these people are just rushing across the border. We don't know who they are, where they're going. They're taking away resources for American people. They're putting, from what I understand in the news, if you can believe that, illegal immigrants in the VA system when veterans are standing in line waiting to get in. That's not right. Hey, Alexa, for Ribbon News in Eagle Pass, Texas. And we are here for the next couple of days to report on what is going on with the illegal immigration. Some of you probably know there was a legal battle between Biden administration and Greg Abbott. But during we were investigating along the fences, we met a veteran who had a lot to say about what is going on here in USA. This veteran from Alaska told us a little bit about himself, but also about his country and with this influx of immigration. This is really interesting. But before going to the full video, go over our special website, texasborderreport.com. Please chip in because without you, this trip is not possible and this story will not get out. So thank you in advance. And now watch this incredible interview. My name's Hugh Wisner from Kodiak, Alaska. And I came down here to see what is going on, you know. You can't believe everything you see on the news, you know. And that's why we're here. I think that it's totally out of control. And the people trying to control it down here aren't getting any help from Washington. Mm -hmm. They're being held back. I totally believe in what Governor Abbott's doing. And I think he should stand his ground. And if he has to keep the guard here, keep it here. It's got to be stopped. Biden uh, just recently said that he did everything that he was able to do at the border. With executive authority, was there more you could do? Absolutely not all I can do. Just give me the power. I've asked for the very day I got in office. Give me the border control. Give me the people. Give me the people to judge it. Give me the people who can stop this and make it work less. Do you believe him? I don't know if he knows which board he's talking about. I mean, I, the guy's senile. Uh, he's done everything to destroy this country. Uh, I think there's only one person that can get it back, and that's President Trump. I'm all for him. He's the only guy that I can see that can come in from day one and straighten this country out. Um. There is a legal battle between Governor Greg Abbott and the Biden administration. What are you taught about that legal, legal battle? I believe Abbott should stick to his guns, keep the guard here. I don't think the federal troops will come in here. I think it's at a point where somebody's got to back down, and I think Biden better back down. We see that the crime have raised, the drug cartel have also increased. What is your concern for your country? Uh, my concern is that my grandkids and great grandkids will never live the life I've lived here. I've lived during the best time in this country. If our court systems, today I just saw in New York City where two policemen were beaten up by illegal immigrants. And nothing was done. They were arrested and turned loose. The court systems have to change. We have to get prosecutors and people in there that take these people, try them, put them in jail, do whatever, and start deporting a lot of these criminal gang members and people that have crossed our border. 
What do you think they should do here at the border to stop this influx of migrants to come into U.S.? Just stop it. We've got the manpower. Don't let anybody across. Close every border, everything. It's not right that people stood in line for years to get to become American citizens, and these people are just rushing across the border. We don't know who they are, where they're going. They're taking away resources for American people. They're putting, from what I understand in the news, if you can believe that, illegal immigrants in the VA system when veterans are standing in line waiting to get in. That's not right. And um, some people will argue that we need to think about humanitarian crisis that is happening around the world and we need to help them. What would you say to them? I say you got to take care of your own country first. You can't bring all these people in and bring our living standards and everything down to where they came from. I mean, you just can't take these people into the country. So what did you see so far since you arrived in Eagle Pass? And did, were you expecting that? I, I wasn't expecting Eagle Pass to be as big a city as it is. And I expected to see more of what was going on like you see on the news. So far, this is the only part of the wall we've seen. And uh, we're going to look around some more the day before we leave. As a veteran, what are you tell to see like this open border and the president of the United States seems to not do much about it? I don't, I don't think he does much for the veterans. He's letting our soldiers be killed in foreign countries, not doing anything about it. I don't think he knows from day to day what's going on. I mean, it's pathetic. Would you have a message for Joe Biden if you have the chance to, to say it to him? Yeah, quit, get somebody else in there. He's ruining the, the country. And anybody that voted for him, they got the bloods of the Ukraine people and the Jewish people on their hands. If Trump would have been in office, none of this would have happened. We came all the way here in Eagle Pass, Texas to report on what is going on. We travel really low cost, but we need your help to offset our travel expense. So if you think it was important that Ribbon News is here on the ground to show you the other side of the story, please go over our special website, texasborderreport.com.